In this class, we will see the simulated annulling algorithm from second unit. And this is a global search algorithm. And in this class, we will see what is physical annulling and then the simulated annulling. After that, we will see the uh, state space diagram for this simulated annulling. And let us see one example for this algorithm. And let us see the pseudocode that is the algorithm of simulated annulling. First, let us see the physical annulling. Physical annulling means a process of heating up a material until it reaches an annulling temperature and then it will be cooled down slowly in order to change the material to a desired structure. That is, initially we will take a material that is in state A. After that, we will heat this material so that the state will get changed. Then, slowly the material will be cooled down. Then, the state will be changed to C with the desired structure so that the value of this particular material will be very high when compared to the raw metal. The value of raw metal will be very cheap, isn't it, when compared to the newly uh, created material, right? When the material is very hot, the molecular structure is weaker and is more susceptible to change, okay? If the material is hot, then this is in the liquid state. Just like see the diagram, the uh, material is in liquid state. So, the molecular structure is very weak. And the material cools down, then the molecular structure is harder. So, that we will get the material with the desired shape. Whatever shape we want, in that shape we will get the same material. Hence, the cost of the material will be improved. Okay, when the cost will be improved, if the procedure is correct, then the cost of the newly uh, structured material will be very high. In this physical annulling, the thermal dynamic equations calculates the probability that the energy magnitude will get increased. That is, probability of delta E. Delta E is nothing but energy magnitude. Okay probability of delta E which is equal to E power delta E divided by K into T. Okay, where uh, delta E is nothing but energy magnitude and T is temperature and K is Boltzmann constant. Here, the T that is temperature is the control variable. Control variable of this physical annulling procedure, right? The simulated annulling algorithm adopts the procedure of physical annulling. It is a stochastic global search optimization algorithm and it is a modified version of stochastic hill climbing. Okay, and this is very much suitable for non-linear objective functions where the local search algorithm do not operate well. Okay, hence this is called as global search optimization algorithm. And this simulated annulling solution is to start by shaking hard, shaking hard that is at very high temperature and then gradually reduce the intensity of shaking that is lower the temperature. Okay, this is the procedure of simulated annulling and this is very useful for the situation where there are lot of local minima. Okay, in this state space. There are number of more number of local minima, then we can adopt this simulated annulling procedure for getting the solution. This is a simple state space diagram of simulated annulling. Okay, for example, uh, this is x axis, this is y axis, y represent the temperature. Temperature T. T is a control variable. T is a control variable here. Okay. And in the simulated annulling, this is the starting point and this is the descent direction. This descent direction always pointing to the global minimum value. This is our goal. This is our goal point. And in between starting to goal, there may be more number of local minima. Local 
minima local minima it seems the goal but this is not the actual goal the actual goal may be somewhere else okay so this is somewhat barriers and we need to overcome this local minima by shaking very hardly the entire thing that means we can take some random step so that the local minima problem will be overcome but here when come to simulated annealing the next step that is the neighboring node will be selected randomly instead of the immediate next neighbor okay the neighbor will be selected randomly anywhere else and the fitness function will be applied here if the value is less than the current value then only this will become accepted and this is now the current state this is now the current state okay this will be randomly selected the next state that may be here if the value is less than this one then only this will be accepted the new state will be accepted okay the process will be continuous until it reaches the global minimum value Uh, let us see a ping pong ball example um here we will take one ping pong ball and that will be roll in the deepest crevice in a bumpy surface right if we just let the ball roll it will come to rest in the local minimum for example suppose let us take this particular surface and the ball is placed here if the ball smoothly rolls into the surface then it will reach the local minimum in this place and it will rest here and what is our goal the ball have to reach in this place isn't it so what is the trick here just uh, shake hard so that bounce the ball out of the local minimum okay if we shake hard then the ball will bounce out from the local minimum and it will reach the global minimum after that it will randomly take jump from here and here then finally after some time it will rest in the global minimum uh, this algorithm introduced two tricks the first one is it picks random move instead of picking the best move okay if the random move improves the result then it accepts otherwise the second one that is the next move with probability less than 1 less than 1 okay this is the uh, starting state starting state okay and the randomly it will select the next state here some for example if the next state is improves here that is if the new value is lower than the previous value then this will be acceptable okay otherwise it the it will take some other move which probability is less than 1 okay the equation used for selecting the next state is e power delta d by t which greater than r of 0 comma 1 here delta d is change of distance from current state to new state okay that is change of distance that is delta d and t is the synthetic temperature or otherwise the control variable okay and r of 0, 1 is the random number in the interval 0 and 1 okay the random number will be selected from 0 to 1 in between number and this is the algorithm of simulated annealing here the function simulated annealing accepts the problem and the schedule as uh, the input parameter and it will re uh, return the solution state okay and the current state is the problem initial state the initial state is now become the current state for i equal to 1 to infinity 1 to infinity means we don't know uh the state space actually because this is unknown environment unknown environment and the t we, uh, which accepts that is the schedule of t 
that is T is nothing but the control variable or temperature otherwise. Temperature and if T equal to 0 then return the current. T equal to 0 means that is the global minimum. Global minimum is not it? Then that will return the current state. Otherwise next equal to randomly selected successor of current. Okay. This is the current. Randomly selected the successor of current will be moved to next. And we will do the evaluation function delta E which is equal to value of current minus value of next. This is value of current and this, this is value of current, this is value of next. Okay. If delta E greater than 0, then the next will become current. Right. Current equal to next. Now, this will be the current. Else, current equal to next only the probability of e power minus delta e divided by t. Okay, that is the value 0 to 1. Then only the next will uh, change to the current. Okay, this is the algorithm of simulated annealing. This algorithm is very much useful to solve the VLSA layout problems and it applied widely to factory scheduling as well as the other large scale optimization task. Okay, if the environment is unknown and the data are randomly selected irregular data, then the simulated annealing is the best algorithm to find the optimal solution. Up to this we have seen the simulated annealing algorithm and that is the global search algorithm uh, from second unit solving problems by searching. In this class we have seen the physical annealing, simulated annealing, uh, the state space diagram and we have seen the ping pong uh, ball example after that the pseudocode that is the algorithm of uh, simulated annealing. In the next class we will discuss some other uh, searching technique from the second unit. Thank you.